stock that we're breaking out for this morning is dogecoin the cryptocurrency you guys so let's go ahead and get right into it so we're up nearly 16 percent for today you guys which is pretty crazy considering that we've been in this downward trend for such a long period of time you can see starting from the 5th of june we've just been in this downward trend breaking through these levels you guys uh, i'm going to go over our support and resistance lines really quick and then we'll get into where we're at uh, we're starting from a higher time frame that being the daily interval this allows us to see the overall direction and picture of the stock that we're looking at uh, this helps us find our entries or exits and a bunch of other good stuff all right so let's get back into it so uh, this top line represents a major resistance line this is an area we have trouble breaking past on a, a higher uh, level which is this candlestick over here these two uh, and then on the, working on the opposite side of our resistance it'll work as support so that's why you see these candlesticks bouncing from this level as well until we broke back underneath and we try to create a breakout here rejected and rejected so uh, this is a heavily tested area and then all the way down here you guys is our major support level so this is our lowest level tested for support and you can see uh, we're currently where we're at. We actually just are now starting to bounce off of this level. We look left, we have this igniting candlestick and this huge wick that came all the way down and pushed it back up over here. And this is where we bounced from our initial first trend, you guys. So these, these levels are heavily tested, you guys, and you have to respect them. Any way you look at it, you have to test these levels, all right? So now let's get into where we're at. We go ahead and zoom in. So you can see that right when we got to this exact level of the support at the 20 cent, um, even back here when uh, this was a couple weeks back when I was doing updates for Dogecoin, I was saying it was showing relative weakness because of the trend line and where we were uh, riding against um, on this level of support. And we ultimately broke underneath and I said that we would probably more than likely pull down to the 20 or 21 cent area. And as you can see, we did that exactly we pulled down to the 20 to 21 cent area and now are starting to build a support you guys and recover so if you were to get in right now hopefully this is the ultimate reversal and we start going only back up from here you guys um i did load up as soon as we got back down to this 21 uh 21 cent area um so uh i'm confident so I have a, a mental stop loss around the 15 cent area. So if we do break back below this major support line, you guys, you want to give yourself some wiggle room just in case you have a candlestick wick that peekaboos um, ultimately through this area. Uh, so you just want to have that mental stop loss set. So if we do break back below and things do go sour, you want to be able to at least get yourself out and wait for a better entry. But uh, if not, and you do decide to get in right here and we start reversing, your first target should be around the 29 cent area and then your second target for the 40 cent area okay so those are good targets uh, if you're planning on holding like core trading or long-term uh, holding uh, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter uh, where your target is because you're gonna be holding um, for years on end anyway so if you were to get in right now I would suggest uh, like I said having a mental stop loss at least underneath this 15 cent area and your entry being around the 20 or 22 cent area and that's if we do pull back down to that level uh, but other than that you guys I don't really see this as a bad buy I actually see it as a great buy uh, we just have to use common sense and stay very vigilant and uh, visual on this specific stock okay but other than that, I hope this video helped in any type of way. And if I did, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content for you guys every other day or Monday through Friday, you guys. Uh, but other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and happy trading.